Hi guys, welcome to the video and welcome to this journey. I will be competing in a weightlifting meet on July 9th. So from this point right n n not n now, I will be documenting everything. So this will be a series, this is episode one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a playlist. So go ahead and follow along. Uh, hopefully we'll hit some PRs along the way. This is my fifth meet, so I'm making this to kind of help you guys prepare for uh, a meet that you want to do or or try to convince you to compete. So that's the title. This is the series, Weightlifting Prep, Episode 1. Let's do it. <laughs> C4 time. Bottoms up. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Ever see you up. Got a couple bottles, but a couple ain't enough. Alright, guys, welcome to the very first commentary of this channel. I'd like to first off say sorry. Apparently, I cannot get jerks in frame because none of them are. So I'll work on that. Deal with it for now. We'll fix it. So, coming off on this day, I felt absolutely fantastic trained three times last week uh, and just felt amazing I've been battling back from some elbow pain and didn't feel it today at all so these jerks felt amazing if you do not know I have a lockout issue where um, also known as a press out where I will either catch it on a bent elbow and then press it out to lock my elbows out or um, catch it locked out and then do a rebend and it didn't really happen today at all unless towards the end and then in one set which you'll see and I'll explain um, so this is one drill that I like to do to help that it's just some you know as you can see just up and down in the lunge position and then some air split jerks so on the bar right now is 205 and I haven't hit this in a long time and it actually be a good rep now as you are about to watch this because I'm super slow at getting on my belt um, again the clean felt solid cleans usually do they're okay but as you can see I do do a little bit of a press out right here boom oh there you go there it goes and if you can't tell I was a little bit off balance so that's what I chalked it up to still feeling great so I decided to go up from there this is 212 at least what I thought it was actually ended up being 218 which is my old um, one rep max clean and jerk and it felt solid as you can see there no press out still feeling good slam in the bar gotta work on that can't do it in a meet but whatever Training, who cares? So then from there, went up two pounds, 220, 100 kilos, and it felt great. Boom, no press out, three white lights, and PR right there. So the hard part about this program is that once you max out, pretty much put all of your effort into that, you have to do a deload. Now, what you're supposed to do two singles at 5% and then two singles at 10% mess that up ended up only doing one well sort of and so this is the first set of cleaning jerks this is 210 and once I don't know what it is but once as you can see you press out right there you know hit 220 and it felt absolutely amazing you know hit 10 pounds less and it is horrible so from there drop down 10% and that is, I believe, 295 or 298. Looks like there's ones on the bar. And again, that press out is coming back. I don't know what it is. Apparently, I just got to go heavier. And then it's only at the lighter weight. So, wasn't happy with it. Decided to go for it, it again. And this is what it looked like. As you can see, no press out at all, and it felt solid. So once you max out on a super heavy lift, you have to do that again for the squat. We had a two rep max uh, back squat, and I thought we only had to go for a single, but apparently it was a double, so I miscalculated a little bit. Um, so, oh well, probably would have gone a little bit lighter for my double, but 
who cares? Um, so this, I believe, is uh, 195 on the bar. It felt solid. From there, it went up to 305. Again, I thought it was for a single, but turns out pff, I can't stand it up anyway. Got to the bottom and just couldn't stand it up. I have a problem where I round my lower back, which is partially why I dropped it because I didn't want to do that. And, uh, you know, trying to rest on the plates here, but we ain't resting. Ended up putting it back up, trying it again, and missed. So just called it there, did my deloads off that. So this weird movement right here is called a jerk recovery. So this helps um, as once you press it out, once well, once you jerk it out, because press outs are bad, once you jerk it, helps you kind of stand up. So that last set was 225. Had to take a break for a minute and then jump to 265, 275, which is ridiculous because my best is 220, right? Who knew you could jerk recover way more? Then moved on to the bench press. And if you think Max Schooning has a bad bench press, just stay tuned because these are horrible. We had a two rep max bench press and ended up that was 175 then went up to 185 I have done it for a double but today could only get it for a single but anyway not my favorite movement anyway so I'm okay with that so again you have to deload 5% and go from there the last movement was a snatch balance now I love the snatch snatch is my favorite movement definitely my best um, but for some reason today, it just wasn't feeling good at all. It was just super tight, just tired from the rest of the workout. But we pushed through and still ended up getting a PR. So this right here is 205, which is my old rep max. Now my training partner, Peter, he hit it. So obviously, I had to beat him here. And it was actually a really good positioning um, in the bottom, I thought from what I've done in the past. Just solid bottom position, stood it up, no problem. Um, I do not recommend dropping a snatch balance down um, on your back, it, it hurts. So last set, 215, and it felt solid. So that's the commentary. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned. So I know by now, some of you guys are asking yourselves, why are you making this series? Well, my goal of this is to help you guys pre prepare for a meet maybe that you got, that you want to do. And also, my goal is to provide content for you guys to watch, to provide entertainment. Because I love making videos and I want to share this passion with you. So, my meet is on July 9th. And for those of you thinking about competing, I think you should totally step into it. Just don't think much about it. Go ahead, weigh yourself right now, enter whatever weight class you're in. You know, obviously, if you're one or two pounds off, I, w I think you should, you know, cut down it if you want to, because um, two pounds isn't really that big of a deal. And just go for it, have fun, put a total up, and really feel the experience of competing, because it's totally different than going for a PR in a gym, because there's people before you, you have a certain amount of time, you have to you know, say what you're gonna do beforehand. You can't just warm up and go like you can in a gym. And I think it's a great experience for everyone. So my goal is going into this meet is to take the state records. They are currently 85 and 110. I have the unofficial state record in the snatch, so all I gotta do is just hit it in the meet. And I'm about 10, 10 kilos off from the state record in the Queen and Jerk. Uh, as you saw in today's, as you saw in the commentary, um, I hit uh, 100 and it felt extremely solid. There's definitely more in the tank, but it will take some work. My secondary goal is to qualify for the university championships, which I need a 194 kilo total for that. But I do have to cut down to the weight class um, below me, which is the 69 kilos. I have been cutting for about six weeks now and it is going fantastic. I totally think we will be able to do it. We're on track there. If you want me to go a little bit more in depth on my nutrition for this cut, let me know. I'll make a separate video about that. So I know this was a, a lot of talking 
in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my beautiful voice. And uh, if you made it this far, go ahead, let me know, like the video, and uh, let me know how I can make this more entertaining for you guys. So that was it. Weightlifting prep episode one completed.